Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Let's take a look at a crawl space that has two Zoller M98s. One is the main pump, one is the backup pump. This crawl space is below sea level. We've been out here a couple times and the crawl space is staying extremely dry. We've solved that problem of being below sea level, but the pump's making an unusual noise. So let's take a look. So that pump, the float's just about to kick off. It's almost down to the bottom. Can you hear that gurgling? So that's air and something's wrong with the check valve. So what we've got to do is I'm actually just going to put one inline valve right up here at the top and it'll protect both. I'm going to start by taking off this no hub and there's going to be water to come back through here, but we need to take it off. And it'll be a little bit or a lot. Oh, not too bad. Looking good. So we got lucky. <laughs> We're just going to take all this apart to replumb the entire project. What I'm doing is I'm disconnecting all of the check valves. So here's the Zollers. There's one here and one here. I'm going to take all this apart. So that's one check valve. We have to work pretty quick here, so I'm gonna jump on this because the water will rise without the sump pumps. I'm just taking apart these check valves. Remember, they're held on with no hub clamps, so it makes it really easy for you to take things apart if you have to change it out. I'm gonna do the same thing on this guy. And then what we're going to do is create that Y to bring that up again. Sorry. We're going to create that Y to bring that up. We'll put the check valve at the top so it supports both pumps. Okay, let's take a look so you can see. Remember, we've got two Zollers down there. You can see that water filling up. That's why I had to work quickly. And one is the main pump. That's this one. And then we've got the backup pump over here because this job was below sea level. So a lot of water gets into this crawl space. We've been able to keep it very dry. We're, what we're trying to do is solve that noise problem, if you heard that big roar. So what we did was we put one check valve, and this one's just in line. It's protecting both pumps. Brought it up, replumbed it, so we go out through to a discharge. Let's go ahead and secure it and glue it up and give it a try. Okay, so I kicked it on. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Oh yeah, much much nicer. The way it's supposed to be. The way it's supposed to be. They'll like that. So I always like to try to show the area where we're at. We're over on Ormond Beach. That's where that crawl space is. And uh, it's this stormy morning, but wow, it's still just beautiful. Hey, a quick note about live help. Uh, this week, this is Friday, this week I think I did 38 live help consultations and 60% were in Michigan. So what that tells me is that yes, they had a great deal of water from that flood last week and the other thing it tells me of course is that there's no one there to help them you know, install these problems. But we were able to do the live help and the DIYer has been able to solve their problems. Uh, just a great service live help. I really wish I had more time to do more live helps. I know there's so many people out there trying to get the right answers and I am just so busy. We are still trying to do the group chat, the questions and answers on the weekends and uh, so join into that. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. You are building the French drain wrong. Only I can build the French drain. You know, we get so many email requests now asking for Sideshow Bob. 
we decided to go ahead and give him his own French Drain channel. Check it out in the description box below. Sideshow Bob.